All right, guys. So straight into Google's helpful content update as it appertains to AI content writers or content writing assistants, as we should be using them. Anyway, let's let's jump into this. So I've highlighted a couple of points which I think are pertinent to us guys. Um, if you're still going after Google traffic, good luck, and hopefully this will help you. So. What they're saying is, first and foremost, it should be helpful content written by people for people. That's when people actually get to the article or see the snippet that Google has liberated. Some would say stolen, or people would say liberated from your work and displayed in its uh, snippets. So, you know, you still got to get people to your site. So we, we've discussed that in a second, but so it's helpful content written by people. Very obvious what they're talking about there for people, not the search engines. Uh, next point is that visitors feel they've had a satisfying experience. So look at your bounce rates, guys. Any of your uh, pages that have got high bounce rates, uh, strive to bring those right down, those bounce rates, guys. People will be looking on this and also look at your internal linking to keep people on your site for a longer time as well. Google will be focusing on this. I still don't believe they can actually identify yet content that is written by AI, but they can certainly identify content that people are unhappy with. So next up, guys. So what they're saying is, uh, do you have an existing or intended audience for your business that would find the content useful if they came directly to you? So if you included, say, a link in an email to an article, would your audience actually enjoy and get something useful from reading that article, taking that, those couple of minutes out of their life. If not, then Google's saying to no, no. So this is all kind of obvious stuff, guys. We, you know, there's been a lot of content being churned out by the, the AI tools that is, is completely and utterly garbage and has been clogging up the SAPs. So I, for one, um, I'm happy to see Google doing this, although I don't focus a lot on Google anymore. Uh, I'm very happy to see them doing this because as users we want to have a satisfying experience when we're using google and obviously google it's it's more of an ads platform than it is as a search engine i would suggest respectfully so they want to keep their advertisers happy and keep that money flowing in so yeah it, it makes sense so this is a big one guys does your content clearly clearly demonstrate first-hand experience and depth of knowledge for example, expertise that comes from having had to use the product or service or visiting a place. So I think this is kind of coming on the last update, which was the, the review update, and they've messed that up a bit anyway. So they're trying to like uh, backtrack a little bit on this one. So this is going to be a big one for the, the review sites, likes of Amazon sites and all that, reviewing various products. If they're in a particular niche then, or though rather, then this shouldn't provide any problems. To, I'm going to put a caveat on that because... Most Google updates have collateral damage. Innocent people, innocent sites get hurt. So watch out, guys. Um, so, yeah, focus on something the way you've got um, some kind of expertise. So Google focuses on uh, entity relationships now as well. So they'd be expecting you or the author or the site to be referring to other significant en entities in the industry, which they'd be expecting to see. I'll try and find a link from an ent entity mapping tool, which I can share with you that's free, which, which should help you with that. Uh, does your site have a primary focus or purpose? Well, yeah, that's kind of wrapped in, up into the last point. <laughs> After reading your content, will somebody leave feeling that they've learned enough about the topic to help achieve their goal? <laughs> what do you think, guys? Um, <sighs> You know, this again, this is all obvious stuff. There's nothing really new here, guys. I think that this the final broadside and a shot, a torpedo, as it were, at the the P people also ask kind of sites that have sprung up left, right, and center with AI generated content. So, you know, all other things being equal, providing you're providing good information, useful information, you should be okay. But, you know, uh, Okay, will somebody feel they've had a satisfying experience? Yeah, great, good stuff. Um, and obviously, are you keeping in mind Google's guidance for uh, updates and product reviews, etc.? So I, th I think they're trying to unclog the safes. They're trying to maybe fix some of the mistakes they made in the, the last update. So, you know, focus, guys. Eat, you know, expertise, authority, trust. 
I'm thinking that the smaller sites, the newer sites will get a real bashing from this one. The authority sites, as always, will uh, benefit from it. And we, we just do what we do. I, for one, don't chase Google traffic anymore. It's just too much of a pain. But we, if you are chasing it, then follow these points and it should be okay. Oh, and one thing that I've been recommending for ages, guys, is always put your own voice on the AI-generated content. You know, use it as a framework for a little, maybe it's got a little bit of flesh on it. Then flesh that out with your perspective, your view, even if you don't agree with, like, you know, sort of the main what the mainstream is saying, as long as it's your voice, your character, your perspective, then you are adding some, something to the web. Um, if you feel that's that's important. I do feel that's important, necessarily. Um so, uh, avoiding content for the for the search engine first. So, I using the articles to draw people from the search to your site. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Yes, we are. Yes, that's what we're doing it for Google. We're not doing it just so you get free content. So, guys, just try and make it useful. Um, are you producing lots of content on different topics? and the hope that you draw traffic in search engines. Again, this is kind of like the opportunist attitude. So one day you, you'll write an article about exercise bikes. The next day, day you write an article about an electric car. And uh, next day you write an article about, you know, uh, a local housing estate that's being built. You know, a hodgepodge of topics which you've identified. There might be gaps uh, with content for keywords. So Google's not going to like that. You're going to have to have a primary focus or the thoughts. Are you using extensive automation to produce content on many topics? Again, so we're producing, you know, and publishing 100 articles a day. You're either a superhero or you're using an AI writing until Google's down on this at the moment, guys. Um, are you mainly summarizing what others have to say about adding much value? Well, I'm summarizing what's going on with Google at the moment. I'm adding a little bit of value, I hope. So if I put this out as an article, you know, got it all typed up and published it, then I'm hoping that would... Um, get around this particular point that Google's making about just summarizing stuff, which again goes back to the people also ask examples before. Did you decide to enter some niche topic area without any real expertise, but instead because you can get sales traffic, blah, blah, blah. So guys, again, it's eat, you know, um, expertise, authority, trust. If you can fake those, you've got it made. <laughs> that, that's me out here, guys. Hope this helps. Speak to you later. Bye-bye.